Hello and welcome to another episode of Driving with the Guru. This is your host, Ricky Cadden, Simeon Guru, and today's episode is going to be jam-packed, and I'm trying to keep it under 10 minutes. So, uh, first things first, we've got a little guest spot from our new author here at Simeon Guru, and that is Dot6. Rita's got a special little project for us, so uh, we're going to zip on over to her in Lebanon and get a quick update um, from hi, her. Hi, this is Rita al Khouri, also known as Dot6, and welcome to the streets of Lebanon. As you, as you see, I have kept the hat so you don't feel that many things have changed in the video. Uh, anyway, as you might have read on Simeon Guru or on .sysks, I have been enjoying the N95 8GB, uh, the device that I'm actually using to record this video, uh, courtesy of one word for two weeks now, and I should send it back real soon. Uh, <coughs> although I have... Uh, a criticized the gaming experience over the N95 8GB, I still believe that this device uh, is almost perfect. Uh, almost perfect in many, many ways uh, because uh, the Wi-Fi experience with web browsing, RSS checking and email uh, has been a very nice add to my life. Uh, the 2.8 inch screen is extremely nice to have and I don't actually imagine how I can go back to a smaller screen because uh, it makes everything uh, really nice and smooth like picture and video viewing, uh, web browsing um, and uh, editing documents with uh, uh, Microsoft Word and Excel or viewing documents uh, plus the 5 megapixel cam is really uh, is is like uh, the most excellent camera I've ever used. I've, nev I've not used the N82, so I don't know uh, how much the Xenon flash, how, how much of a difference the, the Xenon flash adds to uh, the camera. But I do believe that the N95 8GB with its 5 uh, megapixel camera really accounts as one of the most advanced uh, cameras on a mobile phone device. Uh, <coughs> also, what I've been enjoying on the N95 8GB is the TV out cable that makes uh, video and picture demonstrations on uh, TV uh, really awesome. And uh, this is about it. Yes, I've criticized the gaming experience with the, the battery uh, being uh, sh short of... Uh, like giving up on me with half a day or uh, a little bit more. I've also criticized it because of the keypad, but uh, am I um, tempted to run away with the N95 8GB to like if Afghanistan or Brazil? I'm definitely tempted, but I've been raised with good morals, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna send the device back uh, to one word. Um, and this is about it. I should receive also an N81 with Bose headphones uh, from one word and I will be testing it too. So expect a little bit more coverage on that one too. Uh, that's about it and back to you Ricky. And thanks a lot for that Rita. Um, so next up on the list is what's in my glove box and let me tell you today there is tons in the glove box. So first things first we're going to check and see. And first up, we have the LG Shine from um, AT&T, actually. And I've been reviewing this for Mobile Burn. You'll see the full review up on their site shortly. Um, all in all, I just want to say this is a phenomenally built device. Um, it's very rock solid, very trim, and small. Um, but a lot of key missing things. Like, it's so close, but not quite there. So um, the biggest thing that I noticed is... It's a slider, so you can obviously get into the menus and stuff, um, you know, without sliding it open. However, the back button is right there. So the back button you have to slide the phone open to get to. Kind of frustrating, kind of annoying. Um, and then it's got this funky little joystick down here. So in any case, um, next up is the newest one. This is the Helio Misto. And um, this one just came out recently. And it's a sexy, sexy phone. Um, you can tell by the curves on the bottom and just the overall look of the front. It's very sexy, very sleek. It's got a 2 megapixel camera back here. And the front buttons are touch sensitive, um, which is kind of cool, but they are disabled when the slide is closed. Another frustrating thing, you can't really use the phone without sliding it open, which I guess most people don't care. So, um, But it does have these cool sound effects, if you want to listen. So, kind of like that. Um, 
More to come on this. I just got this in, so I haven't really played with it um, as much as I should. So i um, got a couple more on that. Of the next link, Blue Spoon Axe. Um, I bought this headset about three years ago, two or three years ago, I don't remember. And it's incredibly small. At the time, it was the smallest headset on the market. So you can actually store it in a little film canister. Um, absolutely love it. The earpiece is really weird. You push this down, and it winds around inside your ear. Um, and holds it unbelievably sturdy. So, and I'll actually take it off with the earpiece in because I know a couple people have asked me about this. So you can kind of see how it's going to fit and it just winds around in there. It's a little bit intrusive, but I personally find it unbelievably comfortable. Um, most of the time I don't even realize it's there anymore. So that's the Blue Spoon X and the latest version of that comes in this cool zipper Zippo case. And this is the Invisio G5. I'm also going to be reviewing this soon for Mobile Burn. And uh, as you can see, it uses the same headset, um, earpiece thing. And that's how small it is. So you can see, oh, you can't see it that way. It's a lot smaller. And um, this thing actually, though, is a storage case, which is very convenient. And it also has a built-in battery into it, and it charges via USB. So when you're on a trip, you can plug this into your laptop. It'll charge up, and you can see the little indicators there. Charges the headset, and at the same time, it stores five batteries worth for the headset in here. So you can kill the battery on the headset five times and recharge it from this before you have to plug either one of them in. Pretty cool. Um, sound quality is really good. Still testing this. Just got it in over the weekend. So next up most excited thing that I've gotten is the Nokia N810 internet tablet. Really excited about this. Um, this is the new case that it comes in and the design is really cool. It's got the elastic on the side so that it keeps a good grip unlike the N800's um, case thing but it's ugly as all get out. It is a gray leather with teal blue interior. Why on earth would you do that? I don't know. It's ugly. Um, but the functionality is good. So here's the N810 internet tablet, and I'll have more coming on this soon. Um, slides up for the keypad, keyboard. Keyboard's actually unbelievably nice to use. Um, I've really enjoyed it so far. And it slides down. It's smaller than the N810, N800, excuse me. Um, they put the speakers on the sides now, as opposed to on the front here. And they've moved some of the buttons around. As you can tell, it's not really easy to slide open one-handed. So you've now got the D-pad underneath here, and um, it now has a key lock button here that locks the screen and the keys, which is kind of convenient. I like that. So um, other than that, the stylus is a little bit more like a stylus now, and it's still got the 35 millimeter power plug and a micro USB port down here on the side. Also comes with a car mount now. Very nice touch, Nokia. Props to that. Keep doing that good stuff. So you slide it in like so, and in the case, the phone can or the tablet can slide up, so you can use the keypad and down. And I'm in the process of mounting this in my truck. I'm not going to show you yet because I'm missing some tools to get it done. But very nice touch for this to come in the package um, as opposed to separate. And then you just pull the top back and slide it out just like that. So that's everything with the new stuff that I've got um, so far. If you have any questions on any of it, um, the N810 internet tablet will be covered mostly on tabletguru.com. Um, I set it up a while ago and admittedly have not really updated as much, um, but I promise I'll be updating it at least two or three times a week um, starting now. And that's really all I can promise you right now. I'm kind of spread thin, but um, plenty of cool apps to use on it and everything. So. Expect more on this and also have a very, very cool project starting Monday um, with Matt from Nokia Geek. So if you don't have his feed in your, your, in your RSS reader, you need to get it quick because we're going to do something really, really cool. So um, hopefully you'll stick around for that. That's coming on Monday. You'll see that. So um, that's it.